Hey, welcome back. Today we'll be working on this beautiful Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. As you can see, the back glass is completely cracked, and today we are going to get it replaced. For this repair, you will need a replacement back glass with adhesive pre-installed. A razor blade to get you started. And then a thin plastic separation tool to do the rest of the separation. For this, a plastic playing card will work as well. First, we will be using a heat gun. I like to set mine to 400 degrees. If your heat gun doesn't have a temperature setting, then just use it on medium. You will want to heat up all the edges of the glass. That is where most of the adhesive is located. Heating up the adhesive helps the glass separate easier. Make sure you keep the heat gun moving. This will evenly heat the glass and prevent any damage to the phone. Once the glass is hot to the touch, we will use a razor blade to make an incision. Insert it between the frame and the glass, push it down and then under it. Now we will use the plastic card with some alcohol to do the rest of the separation. Insert it next to the blade, and then once you're in, you can remove the razor blade. Now we will be moving the plastic card back and forth to separate the adhesive. Once you do the first side, you can move on to the other. Now remember, you can always use more heat and alcohol if you feel like it's not going for you. As you can see, the adhesive is all around the edges. These two adhesives make it a little hard to go around the corners. Okay, next we're gonna clean up all of this old adhesive before we can put the new glass on. I like to use this flathead screwdriver to scrape off the old adhesive and the sticky residue. After that, you want to wipe it down with some alcohol so it's nice and clean. Also, if you accidentally touch one of the cameras, make sure you wipe it down with a clean wipe and alcohol. Now let's go ahead and remove all the film from the adhesive. You'll want to press down around the adhesive so it sticks to the glass when you remove the film. Let's start by lining up the first top corner, then moving to the second, And then same for the bottom corners. Now just apply pressure all around the glass. I like to use these food saver bags to apply even pressure to the glass, allowing the adhesive to properly stick to the frame. If 
If you don't have any of these, you can use some rubber bands or just stack some heavy books on top. Okay, let's give it a few minutes. There you have it, just like it was new. Hey, thanks for watching my video. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe to support this channel and for more content like this. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next one.